So on mm. Monday, Haiti Lao offered a tiered discount. Uh, so basically, yeah, tiered discounts based on a child's performance in the PSLE. Mm, mm, that's But right. by the end of the day, it, the post was taken down uh, and and I think they realized the, the little kerfuffle it caused. Mm. Yeah. So, no, it wasn't taken. I think it was, they ch- amended it to become a... Oh, they amended just, it. Just as long as your kid just receives his PSLE results, just show the certificate or whatever, and then you'll get $30 off. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Initially, initially it was um, achievement. Okay, so the the PSLE scoring system now is also different. Uh. Mm. There's an achievement level score. Yeah, yeah. I think it goes by. It's similar to, <clears throat> similar to how it was in the old levels for us where, you know, the lower the points, the better, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So initially, the discount was if your kid gets achievement level between 4 and 7, you'll get a 30%, $30 discount. 8 to mm, 11, mm. you get $20 discount. 12 mm. to 20, you get a $10 discount. Uh, and beyond that, you don't get any discount. Lah. Yeah. But um, yeah, broadly speaking, how do you feel about uh, the initial the initial discount that they were giving for, for based on your performance in the PSL year? I think it's damn stupid. Why, yeah? Because... But I mean, <clears throat> it's like celebrating your kids' achievements. I mean, of course, yes, everyone, every PSLE, every kid taking a PSLE, you know, shouldn't be too worried about results. But... For those who did well and then they want to celebrate it, why, why is it not a, a, a bad, Why is it such a bad thing to celebrate with them? Because already you are discriminating uh, against like the perform performance of a child, mm. um, But then, then, then just don't 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 come to Haiti la. Don't celebrate la. If you didn't do well, la. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's just the the message. You imagine, like, already PSLE uh, is such a stressful time for kids and parents, as you rightly pointed yeah. out. But then to yeah. see, see like, this restaurant chain, chain almost kind of normalize the rewarding of, like, oh, just grades, la, you know? Mm, mm, I just felt yeah. like, yeah, of course a business can do, like, what they want and you can choose with your dollar, choose to patronize them or not. But it just mm-hmm. felt like, oh, Lao, eh, why, why, why you must do that? What if a kid really loves Haiti Lao? Like, really yeah. fucking loves Haiti Lao. And, and then you're trying to, cons- you want to console your kid by, you know, over his, maybe he didn't do as well as he had hoped or something. And you all want to like, okay, let's just go, go have a good meal to forget about it. Then yeah. you go to the restaurant and right there in front of your face, it's like, if you didn't get this call, you, you don't get this discount, you know? And then yeah. it's like, it's like just uh, adding insult to injury, like, if anything. Then you used to show your cert, right? Yeah. Then they show the cert, then they're like, oh, sorry, your score is not good enough. No discount for you. <laughs> yeah. Imagine they really did that, like, oh, no, 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 no soup for you. You can't no have this soup, soup because you. <laughs> your score is not good enough. No soup for you. <laughs> or like, if, if you bring your kid and their friends, right? Come and everyone's yeah, so all... happy. Then, oh, you got this one. Sorry, no soup. Everyone else, <laughs> free <laughs> meat. <laughs> Yeah, free toys, free phone cover for you because you did yeah for PSLE. You know? And and Haiti Lao can go quite uh quite far in terms of like how they celebrate stuff like because I know I went for my fiance's birthday. They gave her like this this neon LED board that says Happy Birthday for her to mm. hold and all that. Yeah. And then there's a bit of like performative uh, uh aspect to what dancing, they do. With dancing the dancing thing and all right. Dancing yeah. Noodle. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. But I but, remember the first time I ate Haiti Lao in China. Like, like I went, like this was like maybe 2009, 2010, before Haiti Lao was in Singapore even. Uh, I mean, my, my friends in China were like, oh, you got to eat at this place. It's awesome. This guy's like, he's creating the Starbucks of China and blah, blah, blah. I was like, come on, it's hot pot. Like, you know that. It's, it's, it's what's so great about it. Then we went there and I was like, okay, it's a nice hot pot restaurant, nothing great. Then the next thing they were like, oh, no. I mean, this is Chinese people speaking to me in English. Like, oh, then you should check out the dancing noodle, the dancing noodle. So they were so excited about it. I thought it was like this delicious dish that they would they, they would be serving. Then out came this this you know this dude, and then he started to you know do that noodle dance. Uh. And mm. uh, yeah, I was I was pretty amazed. Uh. It was like it was mesmerizing, like you know. So you and, got won over by the noodle guy, lah. I got, yeah, yeah, the dancing noodle man. That one over. <laughs> At first, I thought it was like some joke, some meme or something, but. But it was like, oh, impressive, man. Yeah. Dancing noodle. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing but yes, that's why Haiti Lao is uh I think what they've 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 taken the Apple philosophy, like, right? Like when every time you step to an Apple retail store, 
they try to delight you. They try to surprise you with something, like, right? You know, whether, yeah. whether you're just getting stuff repaired or you're buying a new whatever. Sometimes they give you free shit that you never even asked for. Uh, that's basically Hai Di Lao's approach to so, like, Every time you step in their store, you think you're just there for hot pot, but they give you so many other things that turn your frown into a smile, just like as evidenced by your phone case story, like, your phone cover story. So yeah. that means at one point you were the grumpy individual? Uh, yeah, I was that grumpy foreigner who didn't understand yeah. Chinese, yeah, China Chinese uh, food and culture that much. Or at least I wasn't that open to it. Then finally when they when I saw it, I was like, wow, the dancing noodle is awesome. You know? <laughs> Maybe every Hai Ti Lao yeah. does his back room with like 20 monitors and a whole team looking. <laughs> and when they saw you, they're like, okay, he looks unhappy. Um, let's no, see his phone. His phone no crack. Okay. Yeah. It's all AI. It's all AI. They're scanning all your facial AI. features as you speak. Then they Correct. see yours. Immediately, they see your frown the moment you walked in. And like, this guy needs a phone case right now. No, they probably scan and look, okay, how can we make this guy happy? Like, they scan mm. you. They're like, okay, his phone case looks fine. Um, glasses fine. Uh, no <laughs> holes on his shirt. You know what? We got to... Yeah. The, the system just says we need to activate noodle guy. Yeah, yeah. For me, it was but, low-hanging fruit. Like, they're like, this fucker... Right, right. His phone crack confirm we can win over. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just give him but, a free but, phone. But yeah, so but uh going back to that PSLE thing, yeah. You the subsequently they actually made a change, like, right? They they changed mm. it to everybody who just got a PSL results can get the discount. Yeah. Um what do you think of that? Huh? I mean, okay, kudos to them for realizing fast uh mm. that maybe it wasn't the best thing to do and for changing it and giving the highest tier of discount. To everyone mm. who gets the PSLE, I think that one mm. must give them props, lah. Yeah, I thought, yeah, they, they at least they corrected course very fast, lah, right? And uh, usually these kind of things they usually simmer for like a day or two, a bit of outrage. But this one was almost like almost the same day or something. They changed it, mm. uh, so so good for them. But but you think, but they definitely wouldn't have got that kind of publicity that they have now if they didn't do that first move. Like. So do you think it could have been oh. it could have been deliberate to try and stoke some fires? I mean, pardon the pun, uh, you know, uh, boil some soup first. And then mm. after that, then they oh, actually, we are, we are inclusive. Everyone, every PSL result is, is allowed. Uh, I don't know, la, because I, I think that one entails a lot of risk. Uh, yeah. And, and I think they could still have done this thirty dollar discount for anyone who gets the result, and you'll still get a lot of publicity. In fact, I think you'll get even more mm. because it's a pretty cool offer, like mm. thirty dollars off. No, yeah, and it's really like about celebrating that your your child completed the PSLE, like, right? As opposed yeah. to like what his exact grades were, like, yeah, yeah. So the only thing is, like, their post is in Chinese, eh? or did they post an English post? No, no, it's in English. It's in English. At least I saw oh. it in English on Instagram. I mean, I saw. The responses, the comments as well were all in English. Like people were like, whoa, come on, why are you doing this and discriminating, blah, blah, blah and all that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, see, I see. I mean, um, then in that, the, the, I guess the other question is, are we removing the incentives for for people to want to try and do well for the exams if they just, especially kids, if they just know that no matter what I do, I have a high tea lao, I have a high tea lao hot pot waiting for me at the end of the day. Uh, I mean, that kind of ties in with the first topic, right? The mm. Haiti La hot pot is kind of like the luxurious meal for the child. Uh. Mm. Is that is that a good motivation? Like, would you want your kid when he grows up, uh, taking PSLA, you're like, yo, man, you know Haiti Lao? You're going to get a good mm. discount if you if you do well. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's not just if you do well, you get it. You get it whether or not. You just, as long as you just get back your results. So, oh, you're saying in general, whether a discount uh, that, the thirty dollar discount for anyone who does PSLE uh, mm. is a motivator for children. And it removes the incentive for them to want to do better, does it? I mean, that's where then it becomes like, how are you incentivizing your kid, lah? If you're using mm. these kind of little things as opposed to <laughs> the love of learning, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. Firstly, yeah, Hai Ti Lao is, I don't know, man. Like, uh, do do. I, I mean, this is also a question because I have a very young kid. Obviously, he has never eaten Hai Ti Lao, but but do a lot of parents eat Hai Ti Lao with their kids? Uh, I'm not very sure. Because Hai Ti Lao, to, even for me, is like, I mean, some of the soups are really way too spicy and all that, uh, you know? Yeah. So I don't know, man, whether whether really a lot of kids can eat Hai Ti Lao. So, no, but there's a non-spicy uh, soup. I've eaten a non-spicy soup. True, true. So kids and grumpy, grumpy adults <laughs> can eat the non-spicy soup. I eat a non-spicy soup, not because I'm grumpy, yeah. okay? Yeah. It's because I just can't take spice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah, that, I, I, maybe, yeah, maybe they, they I, I think you're right, la, that it would have been too much risk 
to you know um try to game the system by offering something offensive at first and then after that changing tech and then saying oh we welcome everybody too much risk yeah uh, so i i would say it's more like they probably thought it'd be like a very good marketing gimmick you know you know tapping into the whole pursuit of uh achievement pursuit of qualifications uh the five c's the singapore dream thing in singapore then they realized like um yeah in this day and age that kind of thing uh doesn't fly as well already lah, right yeah so i guess maybe even the thought of doing that in the first place made me go like, huh really yeah hmm I mean, then, Hai Di Lao is a Chinese chain, lah, right? So, you know, in China, in China, academic achievement is is also also very, very, very uh coveted as well, lah, right? Yeah, I mean, so, so that's why their Instagram, a lot of the posts are in Chinese. And I was thinking, like, huh, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, I mean, not everyone who eats a Hai Di Lao just speaks Chinese, so that's what I find uh a bit weird. But you yeah. know, now that my my sentiments towards hot pot. Um, is is more public than it used to be. Suddenly, Haiti Lao want to sponsor us. Then how? <laughs> then I have to be like, uh, before we start the episode, um, <laughs> have you ever wanted to cook your own food? Have you ever wanted to try to see a man dancing with noodles? <laughs> yeah, why not give Haiti Lao a shot? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 